This is Ryan Harding. I'm going to show you how to investigate some of the uh, IP address only non-registered users using Wikipedia to find out something about where they uh, were located at the time and to see um, if there's any suspecting they might be using um, a hiding router like Tor which will route things through the internet for privacy um, to avoid the NSA or whoever. Uh, I'm on the talk page for Rupert Sheldrake uh, on the 2nd of October 2013 and um, uh, there are quite a few comments on this from IP addresses only for example this one here I've actually already clicked on this and I've got the pop-up tool enabled in the preferences so it's giving some information about the user and uh, POV pushing controversy blah 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 anyway let's click on this link and go into there and you, so having clicked on their IP address you can then look at their contributions and find out what they're talking about various things about arbitration requests for enforcement and they've made statements um, uh, and presumably that's an enforcement about you know, Jiu Jitsu, Jiu Jitsu guy um, there's a sanction being appealed against that person I don't know that editor uh, and anyway, I keep scrolling down. There's talk about orthomolecular medicine, administrator's notice board, edit warnings, edit warring. So, uh, someone, this address probably has yeah, been reported for uh, edit warring, and I think arbitration PS might be pseudoscience, possibly. I'm not sure. Too many little things to know. I can click through and find out if I really cared. So, it looks like this user might be involved. There's quite a lot of controversial activities. Now, uh, at the bottom here, uh, it says this is the contributions page for an IP user in this box at the bottom, identified by the user's numerical IP address. Some IP addresses change periodically and may be shared by several users. If you are an IP user, you may create an account or log in to avoid future confusion with other IP users. Because, of course, there may be other people from your same institution, your same cell phone company, whatever, who use the same IP address as you, and they may end up doing some dodgy edits, and you're doing some good edits, and you get potentially lumped in with them. So registering also hides your IP address from being seen, uh, and therefore your location being traced. So registering is a good thing, which is why all GSOW editors are registered. So at the bottom here, if I show you this link, there's who is. I've got um, I'm using what Web of Trust to uh, uh, indicate these services are all rated highly on Web of Trust. So all these external links come up with a green circle by them. There's that one doesn't mention one that might be. Hmm, don't know where that is. Oh, there's they're all on the same. No, that's internal to uh, they're blocks on certain people as well within Wikipedia. So you can check them out in there. Anyway, one I went for earlier was geolocate to see roughly where this person is based. So I click on that and this IP address. Right, what's my IP address, it says, and the details for this number. It says do not use it for emergency location because they may not actually be there physically, but uh, they may be using a proxy or goodness knows what. However, uh, if you scroll down for the information, my computer's running a little slowly this second. I have about a thousand other windows open in the background. Oops. Well, there's a, a map I've scrolled down way too far now all of a sudden somewhere near San Francisco if I go back up again you'll see that there's a, uh, a college mentioned that uh, has that IP address waiting a bit plug in shockwave flash isn't responding hmm. let's stop the plug in then right so it's a static IP address and it's it tells you here there's quick links for various bits, general, generic IP information, geolocation, geolocation map and comments. Got a decimal version as well, host name is that. ISP is the California State University Network and its organization is Contra Costa College. Uh, it's broadband and it has static IP addresses rather than dynamic. Um, you can check for blacklists if you want. It's in the country, it's in California, it's in San Pablo which is, as we know, near San Francisco, having seen that on the map. Uh, the latitude and longitude all listed as well, and it's got an area code and a zip code, uh, known as the postal code on that. And you can presumably zoom in on this map and see more details of where, near Richmond and Berkeley and everything else, this place is. And this college is over there somewhere. And you can zoom in 
and so on quite a long way and get some details about roughly where this place is based so that's just an example and uh, we scroll down a little further below that there are no comments made about this IP address as yet on that particular site which isn't part of Wikipedia but it's linked from Wikipedia and that's it so I hope that's of interest to you there are plenty of others we can actually go back and take a look at them so for example there's who is queries assumed to be that there we go Contra Costa College again so it's not quite as full information for humans as uh, geolocate RDNS that's reverse domain name server they're missing information for that one so we'll reduce uh, reverse back to the previous page trace route I think that traces the route of the IP packets as they moved across the network to some extent and you can reverse IP each of those things um, Contra Costa College is where it got back to so that's basically how the others came up with that information uh, by probably reverse trace routing it um, from the address given uh, and then we've got an alternative version of uh, similar to geolocate which is called info sniper we click on that and again it's uh, put it in as San Pablo so obviously came up with the same answer and there's wherever it's based on where I'm based and what I drive <laughs> and there's we've done the tour check already that um, indicated it wasn't a known uh, if you click on that node does not exit to Wikipedia so it's not a known node for Tor which is a uh, an IP address hiding uh, web browser the onion router it stands for and it can be used by spies and people who don't want to be tracked blocked user so it's not a blocked user on Wikipedia and there's global contributions you can see all the contributions made from that IP address there, I won't bother about that. Um, RIRs, America, Europe, etc. So there's a regional internet registry, and that might well have it on there because it is in America, and it's showing you that it's been reassigned to Contra Costa College, and it is a reassigned network address, perhaps. So it gets assigned to different people within their network, and there you go. And that's pretty much all the information you can obtain. So I hope that's of some use to you occasionally if you need to try and track down uh, where anonymous edits are coming from.